Good evening, baby. And welcome to the Charlie Show. Tonight I'm gonna be showing. Hey, Quanta Squad. This is your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live, and in color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. I have a question, and this video is for ladies and men at the same time. Have you ever, in your life, been in an verbally abusive relationship if you answered yes this video is for you when it comes to verbal abuse to be honest it's the most dangerous type of abuse that you can be involved in in my opinion bullies are verbally abusive when a person verbally abuses another person they are trying to mess up your self-esteem. They trying to put you under their control to make you think that you are less than they are. They are trying to mess up your whole entire spirit, your, your way of life, your way of being. They are trying to destroy what makes you, you. They get you by yourself. They, they alienate you from everybody, friends, family, colleagues. They, they alienate you from the world. And when it comes to verbal abuse, that kind of abuse cuts like a knife. They say things to you that's not true. They make up stuff that they hate about you, that they don't like about you. They always tell you what you don't do right, that you ain't never going to be anything. I mean, they just say anything that they can to make you feel bad about yourself. It, it gets to the point that they want you to commit suicide. That's basically what they are trying to do. They're trying to kill you without actually killing you. By, by making you do stuff that you would not normally do. And I have been in an abusive relationship, and it was verbal, and it was emotional, and it was physical. But I have been in a ver verbally abusive relationship, and when I finally had enough, it was time for me to get out. You do not have to be in a verbally abusive relationship. Okay, get the strength that you need to get the help that you need. Talk to somebody. There is the domestic abuse hotline that you can always go to and get the help that you need. And people that have never been in an abusive relationship, don't sit there and say, well, why don't they leave? They can always leave. It's not safe to just leave an abusive relationship. You have to have a getaway plan to make sure that you get out safely, especially if you have kids. Men, let me tell you something. You are not weak because a woman has put their hands on you, because a woman has made you feel less than. You're not weak. You are human, and you too can be abused. Get some help. The domestic abuse hotline is for everybody. It should not be just for women. The domestic abuse hotline is for men as well. Know that. And if you work for the domestic abuse hotline and a man calls you and tells you that they need help, help them. Because men are out here getting abused as well as women. Verbal abuse is nothing to play with. If you know somebody that's being verbally abused, help them. See, we don't help people like we used to help people. We see somebody being abused and we turn our backs. And it's not cool. It's not right. Turn and help somebody. Because what if it was you? What would you want somebody to do for you? You don't have to put up with verbal abuse. Get the help that you need. Reach out to somebody that can help you get out safely and alive. Because that's the most important thing. 
And like I said, for you people that have never been in an abusive relationship, don't judge until you have been in that situation. Okay? If you've never been abused verbally, mentally, emotionally, sexually, do not judge. Okay? Do not judge. Do not sit there and say, well, they must like it. Don't nobody like to be abused. Their minds have been turned around. Their minds have been manipulated, have been twisted to think something else. That's what the abuser does. They play with your mind. They play with your mind. They play with your heart. They play with your spirit. That's, that, that's what the abuser does. So make sure that you get yourself some help. Make sure that you help somebody that's in this situation. Because what if it were you? What if it was somebody in your family? What if it was your children that was going through this? Help somebody. Because you would want somebody to help you if you was in this situation. And it's not cool to sit back and watch somebody suffer. It is not cool at all to watch somebody in pain. It's not cool. It's not God-like. Help somebody, y'all. And if you are the abuser, whoop your own self. Beat your own self. Because I don't feel sorry for the abuser. I feel sorry for your victims. Get you some help if you know you got issues with anger. Okay? People that are verbally abusive, they are sweet one minute, and then they are like, they are like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They will be kind one day, and in the next minute, they will, they, they are cussing you out. So please get some help for yourself if you are an, an abuser. Okay? Before you end up in jail. If you are the victim, get you some help before it's too late. Okay? I would hate to see somebody bury you because there was no help given to you or there was no resources. Get you some help. Somebody to please help people that are in trouble. And it's okay to stick your neck out to help somebody. Keep your eye out on people that are in, in, in crazy situations like this. Okay? Because the way society is today, nobody wants to help. Nobody wants to get involved. I love my life, but I hate to see somebody else suffer. So if I have to lose my life to help somebody, I did the right thing. That's how I feel. If I have to lose my life to save another life, I will do that. That's one thing people will always say about me. And, and until the day I die, people will say about me, that girl did what she could to help any and everybody. Okay? But uh, I'm going to put the domestic abuse hotline number at the bottom of my video in case you, you or somebody you know needs help. Please get that help to people that need it. But if you made it to the end of my video, put verbal abuse. Let's have this conversation respectfully. And I do not want to hear in the comment section about you not want to get involved. That's not, that's, 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 that's a punk way out. That's a coward way out. Sorry if you offended, but look, enough is enough about this abuse. I just did a story yesterday about a little boy, 10-year-old boy, that killed himself because he was verbally abused, a.k.a. bullied, and somebody could have helped that child. 
So yeah, bullying is verbal abuse. Think about that before you comment on this video. Okay? And you want to defend why you don't want to help. Think about that. But give me those big thumbs up. Get this video to 800 likes, 800 views. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you are old, old subscriber, make sure your notifications are on. Share all of my videos. Like I always say, have fun playing with your nails if you wear nails or if you're growing your own. Have fun playing with your makeup if you wear makeup or you're just learning how to use it. And y'all, please live life because God only gives you one. Bye.